Um, so just to continue uh, where we were, um, I kind of forget where we were, but um, oh yeah, just how sick I was before. Um, uh, I'm, I, I wasn't at the stage your sister's in, but I was in a ton of pain. I hardly left the house. Um, everything was so hard and awful. And, and chemo, it just sounds really scary getting chemo, but chemo, I felt great on chemo uh, because finally my immune system was no longer beating the shit out of me, you know? Um, uh, so we just wiped it. We wiped it, control, delete on a computer, um, uh, uh, and wiped the system clean. And now that I'm six months post um, HSCT on... Um, on Friday, I'll be six months post, which is, uh, or, or Sunday actually, uh, which is going to be very special to me. Um, uh, my immune system's really working very well by one year. It's going to be totally normal. So, um, I do understand, like, I think that people just, um, it sounds extreme, uh, going to Mexico, going somewhere else, but they need, your parents need to understand the care that the average patient is getting is 10 years behind the science across the board for all diseases. So unless your family is, you know, I'm just, I know how lucky I am. We're very well connected medically. My, my mother was a premier scientist at the National Institutes of Health. My sister's an MD. My other sister's a nurse anesthetist. And um, so we, and, and you know, I'm, I'm not lucky for this, but my aunt died uh, eight years after being uh, diagnosed with MS. So we had all the reason to look outside uh, what was being prescribed to the average patient because we knew what it was and we knew it wasn't good. Uh, we can, we can, we read the PubMed studies. Um, and, uh, and the, the newspaper articles I sent you were kind of just synthesizing those studies. So you can, I can send you the actual study if you want to read them, but the, the news art articles mostly providing, um, uh, everything you would need to know from that. Um, and, uh, and one other thing is that Dr. Rui, she should know, he just won two worldwide awards. Um, one was the, I think it's the uh, Hematological Society of uh, North America. Uh, you know, they pick one hematologist that wins that award and he won it. I mean, he beat out all the American doctors. So Dr. Ruiz is a, is a very famous doctor in Mexico, just like Dr. Fedorenko is in Moscow. Um, who's the one? Uh, Dr. Carusis in Israel, Dr. Burt at Northwestern. Um, there's really, uh, you know, two or three in each country that are showing up every year at the scientific conferences and, um, uh, and are very well accepted by their peers and are not doing anything kind of fishy or sketchy, which is not the case at, at some clinics in say Panama or whatnot. So I, I think their questions are very valid, but, um, uh, we've had several, we've had thousands of people in, in the Facebook group go on to get HSCT and, the, the centers that are um, coming back, like the top ones, Mexico, Moscow, Northwestern, and, um, and Israel. Uh, Israel was really hard to get into, and I'm, I'm pretty well connected in, in, um, in Israel. My ex-husband's Israeli, and he was doing everything to help me from Israel. But, um, and um, uh, and I'm, I'm sort of thinking, I mean, we, we, we were, were super well connected there, and, and we couldn't get me in. So I don't know, I don't know how, um, I don't know if things have changed from six months. I, I would, I, I never say, oh, don't try, but Israel's pretty expensive. It's about the cost at Northwestern. Um, so I think if money is an issue, and time is the, of issue. Time is the thing that is most of issue here, um, most critical. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Mexico really is your best shot. It's not shoddy care. It's not at all. It's an extremely advanced private clinic. Um, what I like about the Moscow model is that there you'll be in a hospital the whole time. But um, but we have loads of patients that, that are going to Mexico that are saying, you know, they had a better time because they weren't in the hospital the whole time and they were in a private patient facility. And I just think with your sister, the situation is dire enough that, that action is required. Um, anyway, it's your life. You know, you don't need me to pressure you. But I'm just... I'm very excited for y'all and um, and just, you know, she should have hope. She should have hope because this is an amazing treatment. I mean, I'm back to squatting at the gym and, and everything. Um, just, I mean, I was an athlete in college, so for me to be living in my bed was just, I mean, it's devastating for anyone. It's devastating for anyone, but I was a Division One varsity athlete. Um, so, you know, it was just like, you know, I was so skilled and so coordinated before and to have all that taken away was just devastating. Um, 
And, uh, and even though, you know, my story, she may say to herself, oh, well, she got, you know, got HSCP right after diagnosis. Uh, that's true. But I, I had MS 10 years beforehand. I'm sure I was just really high functioning with it, but it was still taking me down sometimes. So, um, I, I think she's got every reason to have hope. I mean, the science is clear. The, the data is clear. Um, and, uh, and you know, you're her, it's her body, it's her spine, it's her, or it's her brain. Nobody is, stands to lose more than her. So ultimately I hope, I hope your parents, even if they're concerned, hopefully they'll read everything, but they need to realize like, this is her brain and her spine that she's losing, uh, you know, quite quickly. And she has, you know, she has the right to, to decide, you know, uh, what to do with it and what the best treatment is. And, um, and just let me know how I can be more helpful to you guys. Um, these videos are so long. I, I probably won't be able to send them via messenger. So send me your email. Okay. Um, and, uh, and just let, let me know how I can help more. The hair does grow back. It's a non issue just, and even the kids, you know, um, I was, I'd never been away from my kids, uh, like that. And I just kept, that was the hardest thing for me. Like the day that I flew to Moscow and it does feel at the time, it feels very extreme. Like, Oh my God, I'm going to buy a stem cell transplant in, in Russia. Like it feels like super under the table, but I, I knew that people were going there and getting better. I mean, I was, I was, um, I, I actually met someone in Texas that, that, you know, walked into Russia with a cane and then just walked right out. And, and, and not everyone has as quick a recovery. I had a very quick one. Nikki's is slower, but it's for sure happening. Um, Nikki's so amazing. Um, she's also young mom. Uh, like the, I kind of have a heart for the young moms on, on Facebook. So I'm often like hunting them down and just trying to make sure they, they at least know about this option. But, um, but yeah, one of the hardest things was the day that I left to, left my kids to go there. I just cried and cried, um, the whole time. And that was fine. I just, I just cried the whole time. The kids are so resilient. Uh, and I only cried saying goodbye, you know, once, once I was gone, um, and they had wonderful family to take care of them. I mean, they really had a blast and they don't even remember that I was gone. Uh, it was, it's like a blip to them. They're like, Oh, mommy went to Russia to get medicine. Great. You know? And, and that was, you know, um, just fine for them. So I hope, I hope that that's not of her worried. I think just practically, getting a date, calling Mexico, it's very easy to get a date. You just call them and you could, you could almost get one that day. Be pushy. She needs to be pushy. Both of you guys need to be really pushy to get the soonest date. You can even tell Mexico you have a sooner date somewhere else and they'll, they'll bump you up a month. And then, uh, she can convince her parents over a month. Okay. Uh, and get the money over a month. Um, uh, really just the time is such a crucial factor and, and, um, and I'm just thinking of y'all and I just want to know how I can help you. And, um, and it is a wild journey, but like, oh, it's good. It's like, I was, as soon as I got to the hospital and started getting the chemo, I was like, I know this works because my pain just went from an eight to, to a one or to a zero. Um, so, uh, I really think I almost kind of thought that HSCT was sort of overplayed, uh, in terms of, um, how scary it was or how dangerous it was. I mean, the, the vitality risk in Mexico is zero. They have not lost a single patient, you know, um, that, that, that can't be said of the DMD she's on, by the way, I, I'm assuming she is on a disease modifying drug. And if so, she needs to think about, she's got to get off those three months before, um, getting HSCT. So getting off them, you know, should be kind of a priority soon. Um, and, uh, I mean, my aunt died on Capaxin. They have a fatality risk. They, you don't really have a risk-free option when you have MS. This is, this is the uh, extremely low risk option with the highest probability of halting your disease and, and giving her things back and just really hopeful for y'all. For y'all, um, Please let me know how I can help you more. I'm, I'm very touched by the love um, you have for your sister. I have a really good brother too, um, who's much younger than me. Uh, I was in graduate school when I got diagnosed and he called me and he was like, Sandy, I can, I can get a loan for $25,000 the bank just told me. And, you know, um, so it's wonderful that she has you. And, um, uh, I just hope you're having an okay day and let me know how I can help you. And let's get a date. Let's get a date. Even if all parties are not sold yet, that that's going to start the three month, four month clock where she can get off her DMDs, start talking to the parents, start raising the money. You still have three months for that, but 
but really like locking in that date as soon as you can because there's there are waiting lists and they're not short um and then being as pushy as you need to be which is push pushy you know i mean you might have to advocate for yourself um and it's really a travesty that that you know we're a science family except for me i'm useless not really i i can read all the studies and whatnot um but i'm an english uh professor but um uh, it's a travesty that patients don't know the care they're getting is 10 years behind the tip of the science, you know? Um, okay. All right. That's enough for now. I hope that these get to you. Um, have a good day. Bye.